Hello everyone and welcome to this new video and today we're going to be making a red light green light midi game inside of Roblox Studio. We're going to celebrate the launch of Squid Game Season 3 by making this inside of Roblox Studio. Uh, this is a part 1 series. I'm planning to make part 2, part 3 by making this an actual midi game. But you can make this, publish this to Roblox and maybe make some income. Yeah. Um, so first of all, we're going to make the start line and the finish line. Yeah. This is very, very easy to do. You just add a part here from on the top. Let's rename this to start line, yeah? Just like this, start line. Uh, you can rename this to whatever you want, by the way. Uh, I'm going to make this the color lime green so I know what is the start part. Uh, I'm going to make this size somewhere about 50, 1,2. So it is like this. And I'm going to move it to like a good place, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, 0, yeah? Which is here. I'm going to just move the spawn just here, yeah? Then we're going to do is duplicate the start line and rename this to finish line, yeah? And let's do this like bright red or something, yeah? And then move this just about, wait, this is the size. Where is the position, what? Oh, I didn't do the position clearly of the start line. 0, 0 0.5, 0, yeah? Uh, like this. And the finish line will be the same as the start line, just 200 studs like this, 20, 200, yeah? So this is way further. Um, this is optional. I will use a remodel. As you can see, Squid Game doll. You can just use any doll. Uh, I'm not animated yet. But I'll be using this one because it has like it's just like a like a character, but just as a doll. I'm gonna place them right over here. But yeah, just like this. Then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna make a start barrier. Yeah, so let's add another part. Boom. And let's remove this to start barrier. Not not barrier. Bar barrier. Yeah. I'm gonna make this the color somewhere. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna make it like really red. Transparency about 0 0.7. The size you can actually just place it here and then scale it. Just like the finish line, like this. Let me just make it bigger, yeah. Boom. And I'm actually going to make this, like, just in front of this finish line. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to duplicate this part and move this a bit right here. And I'm going to make or rename this to game area, yeah. Why am I making a game area? So let's say you're standing here, you're not inside of the game. So when it says red light, you will not die. Uh, but only when you're inside of the game area, which I'll make this big. And then you are going to die, yeah. Just like this, yeah. Boom. Transparency is one, so you cannot see it. Also very important, can collide. Turn this off. Yeah. Also very important tip, you can just make two walls here so the players can only get outside of the game area. But I'm just trying to make a simple thing right now. Okay, once you have this already done, what you can do is we can make, go inside of our starter player, starter player script, we're going to add a folder and we're going to name this light sounds. Yeah, we're going to add in two sounds duplicate this and the first sound is gonna be red light sound and copy this and i'm gonna name this green light sound yeah so very simple i will have these ids in, inside of the description for red light sound i'm gonna be using this one this red light. yeah and for the green light sound i'm gonna be using this one should be this green light. yeah then of course we're gonna make the game controller yeah so inside of our server script service i'm gonna add a script and that's called game controller yeah i'm gonna make this bigger so you can see this better uh, so first of all we're gonna look at players equals game the point get service players we're also gonna look at our run service which will be game the point get service run service and we're also gonna look at our replicated storage which will be game the point get service replicated storage and also workspace it's game the point get service workspace yeah oh like this yeah then first we're gonna create two events yeah light event which will be replicated storage double point oh wait a slash here uh, double point find first child light event um no we're just gonna do is equals instance dot new remote event from a replicated storage and then a light event dot name will be a light event yeah and same here local sound event equals instance dot new remote event and this will be inside of our other uh, replica, replica storage as well and sound event dot name will be play sound yeah we're gonna local our doll underscore sound underscore lang and i'll be using a sound which will be about four dot three four two seconds long all of the dull sound, all of the like sound IDs will be in the description, so you can just copy and paste them. And also reaction time equals 0 0.5. Uh, this is I will use like when it says red light, the player will have 0 0.5 seconds to react to it. If they still move after 0.5 seconds, they will die. Yeah. Okay. 
local hour star barrier so stars barrier equals workspace of points find for style stars barrier uh local hour game area equals worst place of point finds for child game area local red so here i'm going to be making our states yeah red light in the beginning it will be false because we're going to have a green light local red light start time will be zero local save players equals this yeah local function is in game area not root part if not game area then return false ends yeah local position equals no it's root part dot position local size equals game area dot size local c frame equals game area c frame local well pass equals c frame low point point to object space position and then return mod dot abs rel position dot x after this an arrow and equals so size dot x divided by two and mod dot abs rel position dot y same thing with the arrow here size dot divided by two and also with the z mod dot abs z abs rel plus yeah the ball or what is yeah it's gonna be rel position but what i'm gonna change this really quickly dot z same arrow thing size z divided by two now you have normally something like this quite a big line but that's okay now what you're gonna do is broadcast our light status local function I'm gonna make it bigger again local function broadcast light and so be status green duration yeah red light equals status equals red yeah uh if red light then what we're gonna do is red light start time equals tick save players equals this else local speed equals tall sound length divided by green duration sound event the point fire all clients speed yeah and then also here light event the point fire all clients status yeah what you're gonna do something is with the run service run service dot heartbeat the point connect function nothing inside of this if red light and tick minus a red light start time this kind of arrow. reaction time then for underscore comma players oh underscore comma players players in pairs inside of this we're gonna do players the point get players do look our character equals player dot character if character character the point find first child humanoid root part and character the point find first child humanoid then what we're gonna do is local our humanoid root part equals care dot humanoid root part uh, local moving so if you're moving it goes hrp dot assembly assembly linear velocity dot magnitude is greater than one yeah if moving then what you're gonna do oh wait if moving and not save players with this thing player and is in game area humanoid root part then what you're gonna do character dot humanoid what held equals zero save players and with this brackets player player why did this wrong wait let me do all these things save players player equals true yeah that's that done now what we're gonna do is on respawn protect player temporarily yeah we're gonna do you go here layers dot player added up point connect function layers player dot character added the point connect function character we're gonna wait one second save players layer equals true wait 1.5 seconds save players is player equals no yeah now what you're gonna do is the game loop of course while true do print yeah we're not gonna print anything if start barrier then start barrier dot can collide equals true and wait four seconds and then we're gonna do is if start barrier then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do star barrier but transparency equals one star barrier can collide equals false yeah and this will be our first our first green light local green duration equals mod dot random and we're gonna do about 
five to eight seconds that green light will be there now broadcast light green comma green duration wait green duration and then four equals the four i equals one comma ten two broadcast light red capital r uh, red wait mat dot random red will be about four to six seconds local new green equals mat dot random five to eight seconds broadcast light again with green no green wait no green yeah just like this and then we're gonna reset it if start barrier then start barrier dot can collide equals true end yeah just like this that's your game controller script completely working we're also going to do some like a simple script inside of here we're going to add another script will be teleport to start so that the players will teleport right over here instead of on the spawn point like even if i said spawn point here they were going to teleport somewhere around there how do we do this game.players dot player added the point connect function player yeah and then player dot character added the point connect function character wait 0.1 seconds uh you're gonna use character dot point pivot to c frame dot new zero comma three comma minus 20 just like that yeah then what you're gonna do is we're gonna make the simple script inside of here start our player scripts we're gonna add a local script and this will be called all sound player yeah how do we do this local replicated storage equals gain the point get service replicated storage local sound event equals replicate storage no point wait for child play doll sound yeah i think normally we call it that here yeah play doll sound yeah local doll sound equals instance dot new sound local uh, doll sound dot sound id equals and this will be like this rbs asset id doll point slash slash and then of course this will be in the description as well i'll be using this one which will at which is the seconds long and then doll sound dot volume will be one doll sound dot looped equals false doll sound dot parent equals in our workspace sound event dot on client event doll point connect function playback speed yeah doll sound dot playback speed equals playback speed doll sound doll point play that's that and now we're gonna make a simple ui here on top which will like also indicate if it's red light or green light how do we do this we're gonna make a new local script inside our player scripts and it's gonna rename this to light ui script yeah a very easy local light event event oh my god event equals replicated wait i'm sorry local replicated replicated store reg equals gain the double point get service replicated storage and also local our players equals gain the point get service players yeah then local our light event equals replicated storage double point wait for child event local player without capital anything is player dot local players local player gui equals player double point wait for child green gui yeah what is gonna do local screen gui we're gonna make the ui inside of our script equals instance that's no green re screen gui a screen gui dot name we're gonna make it light ui screen gui dot reset on spawn equals false screen gui dot parent will be our player gui yeah also gonna look at our light text equals instance dot no we're gonna make it a text label i'm gonna do light text i'm gonna just copy this so i don't have to always type it dot size equals uh, let's make it u u d i am 2 dot no we're gonna make it 0 0.3 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 yeah then light text dot position will be u d m 2 again dot no 0 0.35 comma 0 comma 0 0.05 comma 0 then light text dot text scaled equals true light text dot back light text dot background transparency equals 0 0.4 light text dot text equals i'm gonna do in the beginning waiting with three dots light text dot background color three equals color three dot from rgb i'm gonna do 150 comma 150 comma 150 
is like a nice grayish color light text dot text color three equals color three dot from rgb again i'm gonna do it white so 255,255,255 and then light text dot font will be edam dot font dot got black yeah and then light text dot parent will be in our screen gui then we're gonna look at our sounds light sounds equals script will point find first child light light sounds or layer the point wait for child layer scripts the point wait did i even error correctly their scripts the point wait for child light sounds yeah again a big line of code that's okay and we're gonna do is after here we're gonna go local our red sound equals light sounds light sounds the point wait for child red light sound also gonna do local green sound equals light sounds of point wait for child green light sound yeah we're almost there i'm recording right yep okay we're almost there what we gotta do still is we're gonna react to this light status so light event dot on client event the point connect function status boom if status equal to green then what we're gonna do is light text dot text will be green light light text dot background color tree equals color tree from rgb zero one two five five one zero so it's green and then green sound the point play else if status double equal to red then what you're gonna do is light text dot text equals to red light light text dot back color tree equals color tree dot from rgb we're gonna make it red so r is 255g yep red sound dot point play with our brackets then else light text dot text equals waiting with three points and then also light text dot background color tree equals this grating which you can just copy from this equals this yeah now normally everything should work we have our light ui script we have our dull sound player we have our teleport to start and game controller and our two sounds as well and if you play the game nothing will work have okay so everything works except for the ui i'm gonna see what doesn't work infinite yield possible on players that line seven. Oh, i'm sorry it is not screen gui this is player gui normally now it should work yep so we have waiting here and then green light you see the sound plays when you know now it's red light oh i moved i'm sorry yep now you can see it works also you see when i move not inside of our uh, if i move not inside of our game zone i do not die but once i'm after this game zone i will die I'll try to completely see when I stand still. I do not die. I'll move again when it says green light. You can see the sound also matches up with how long time I have. So you can know when I can have to stand still. But you can see it works perfectly fine. See when I cross the finish line, nothing happens, but I cannot die anymore. And this is just part one, which is just a simple mechanic of the red light green lighting if you want me to make a part two of it uh, that you have like a leaderboard with how many wins you have how many times you finish the uh, cross line also that the doll head will move according to red light or green light and also a timer of how much time you have left so make sure to let me know in the description down below and i will definitely make a part two of this uh if you haven't already join the discord down below if you have any questions also like the video if you enjoy this type of content and also consider subscribing you can always unsubscribe later if you don't find my tutorials any more interesting well this was my tutorial for Red Green Light part one and i will see you in part two very very soon